So how are you liking UCLA so far? Uh, I love it, honestly. This is home for me, so I'm just enjoying every day, working as hard as I can. We're seeing you uh, quite a bit uh, with the defense, with the ones. You know, where were you expecting to participate this much when you were when you uh, came in? Yes, sir. Uh, that was a standard I set for myself, and I, I worked to put myself in that position. And now I'm just trying to make sure I can learn as much as I can every day, and just grow to having a bigger role on this team and this defense. As a new defensive coordinator, right? Just coming in and learning the new ter terminology with him and then uh, working with uh, your, your brothers on the defense. Uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying it and I'm learning. I'm learning something new every single day. And all of the defensive coaches here are like very detail specific. So it's like, it really helps me. They're like, they, they take their time and they, you know, pull me to the side or we'll watch extra film and just get in everything we need to do. Is there one particular uh, player that maybe you kind of, you know, uh, been in the air of the world before? trying to pick things up as quickly as you can? Um, you know, I go, I talk to, in the secondary, I like talk to Blay and Church, those guys, you know, they've been here and they're very familiar with this defense. So they've helped me a lot since I've been here, you know, just little terminologies and things like that. When you go into the transfer portal, what were you looking for to lead you to here? Um, what do you mean when you like, like when you go to the transfer portal, what were you looking for in a school, in a destination, and why did you pick this up? Um, I was looking for somewhere that was home, somewhere I could go to grow as a man as a, and as a, as a player. Those were like the two things that were key to me. So everybody that was recruiting me and everybody I was talking to, all of my questions to them were like surrounding those goals of mine. So I chose UCLA for those reasons. I felt like it helped me grow as a player and as a man. And just in the two and a half, three weeks I've been here, I've already took steps forward. And Jalen Davies, the other transfer DB coming in, obviously you're a lot older, but you're both coming in at the same time. What's that relationship like, or on the field or off the field? Uh, I, I, I like them. I like them a lot, man. I got love for them already, and I know I'm gonna be able to teach him a lot. And I learn from him as well. I don't know everything, but he's a young guy, and he definitely listens. Like you know, if I be like, hey, you should do this like this, or just check this out, he definitely has his ears open, his eyes open, and he pays attention. He's gonna be a great player for us in the future, I think. How is it going against the offense? You have uh, DTR and Charbonnet you know, returning, you know, some guys that were pretty successful last year. Yes, uh, you know, how is it going against that, that, that type of competition? Um, I'm enjoying it. They're, they're both competitive guys, you know. They'll sprint to the goal line at the end of the drive just you know, to get their steps in, you could say. So I, I, I like it. It's constant competition, and, and I love it. I can't wait to see what they do in the fall. We were talking to uh, Devin Kirkwood the other day. He said he, he's been able to connect with you pretty, pretty quick. Uh, how, how are things like with him and you – Coming in, he, he was here last year, but you've obviously been through a, a lot more snaps and right. practices at the college level. Right, right. Again, uh, I learned from him to say what he learns from me. I feel like I got a lot that I could teach him as well. And I don't try to force everything to the guys younger than me in one day. Like, uh, I'm, I'm thankful I got some time here. So I'll just be able I'll give him as much as I can while I'm here. He's, he's, he's a great player as well. And he's going to be a great player in the future and now for us. You're from the San Diego area, right? Yes, ma'am. So was UCLA on your original recruiting radar coming out of high school? Uh, of course I had uh, dreams of playing here. You know, it's like a home, a home school for me. So definitely I was interested in UCLA back then. What's it like kind of finally getting here? You had a long path to get here, but to finally get here. Um, it's actually, it's, it's crazy now, because like you said, I've had a long journey. So I've just, I've been reflecting recently and like just learning everything I can from, you know, the past years and stuff. And I'm just enjoying every day working as hard as I can now that I'm here, you know what I mean? You started as a walk-on in Arizona. How did just kind of having to fight and fought and scholarship and work the playing time and then you know, play on the other days? Yeah, that, that still feels me to this day, you can say, honestly, because I've been through a lot since I've been in college. You know, everybody goes through things in their own ways. I've been through a lot personally. And I still kind of have like a chip on my shoulder, you could say, from, you know, just coming in, into the college game like that. So that still walks me to this day, and it always will as long as I'm playing football. A little more than halfway through spring training, what's been your evaluation of the team to this point, and what do you guys have to do to get better going through the second half? That, that, that is like, that's a good question. A challenging thing, and this is like a standard that I have set for myself as a team has set, is that the next day has to be better than the past day. You know what I mean? So it's all about just having good days and stacking them. And 
eventually, if you do that, you'll get to where you want to be. Being a somewhat local guy, are there any guys that you knew on the team before you came in, like from high school or camps or whatever? Yeah, uh, a lot of the guys I knew left, like uh, Jordan. I knew Jordan, uh, Cal Phillips. I, I played against him and with him in high school. So yeah, Mitchell, me and Mitchell went to um, Santiago together our freshman and sophomore year of high school. So yeah, most of them are gone now, but I was familiar with some of the guys that were in. Uh, were they talking to you when you were in the portal? Or did you reach out to them and just kind definitely. of ask questions? And... No, definitely. And they all spoke highly of this uh, school. So that helped me with my decision a lot. Going back to your question, those guys helped me a lot with my decision. You don't get to play with them, but to see you guys like Kyle and, and Jordan that are kind of chasing this NFL dream, uh, what's it like seeing your friends get so close to achieving that next step? I'm, I'm extremely happy for them. Like I said, I played with and against uh, both of them, I think. And we were all in the same graduating class, like high school, if I'm not mistaken. So it's just, I'm, I'm, as ha I'm happy for them like it is my success. You know what I mean? Because I just remember when we was in high school and I, we all took our steps over these years and just seeing them put themselves in that position is exciting. I can't wait to meet them up there.